Hey y'all, so I'm trying to try and get this video done before my camera dies on me because it's blinking red. Okay, so for the my free week video, I wanted to talk about privilege. And privilege is really super tricky because everybody has it even though you might not want to admit it. I actually made a handy dandy list of all, um, all my categories. I actually thought about it. I have categories. Okay, where's my page? I'm white, so I have that privilege happening for me. Um, here's the thing, though. Having privilege does not make you an asshat. Willing, willful ignorance of your privilege is what makes you a giant asshat. If I were to sit here and say, yeah, I'm white, so there's no problems that come from race, asshat. Thankfully, I acknowledge the fact that I do have certain privileges, but I have a lot working against me. So I am female, I am Jewish, I am fat, I am queer, and I have a, uh, a mental defect to some people. I have a depressive disorder that you can't see clearly, like I'm not wearing a sign but it holds a stigma. Anytime there's some kind of mixed up hormones in your brainstem, people are gonna think that there's something really wrong with you. So there's privilege of the thin, there's privilege of the white, there's privilege of the Christian or whatever the minority is, there's privilege of the able-bodied, there's privilege of the able-minded. And I think what we in Sweethearts deal with a lot is cis privilege. Which is something that I, like I am cisgendered. But I'm aware of that fact. And I think a lot of the time ignorance from, you know, us cis people comes from the idea that we don't recognize our privilege. You know, we don't look in the mirror and say, Man, it's really fucking awesome that my genitals match my gender. And how lucky am I? I have said that, but I know there's a lot of people that would never think like that. So if you're the cis partner of a trans person, then take a look in the mirror and say, wow, I'm really lucky. I don't have to deal with some stuff that my partner has to deal with. And then take that into your relationship and look at the fact that you're not equal because you don't have the same privileges, but you can still have an equal relationship. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. I also hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, um, never assume privilege. So just because you see somebody who is appears to be heterosexual, appears to be able-bodied, able-minded, um, appears to be Caucasian, appears to be male. That person could have manic depression. That person could be transgender for all you know because you, you're you looking at them from an outsider point of view. You don't actually know them. You don't actually know what's happening down there. So never assume a privilege and never mistake privilege as a weakness. Just because somebody is a white cis male does not mean that they can't help the fight. Doesn't mean that we don't need them. Doesn't mean that they're not as significant or that their their wants, their desires, their fears are not as real as ours because they happen to have a different glimpse at privilege than we do. I hope <laughs> This made sense, and I hope my camera didn't die halfway through. So uh, that was what I wanted to ramble on for my little free, free thought word salad moment. And I'll see you on my next video.